What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Yella. Had to hit y'all with a follow-up or should I say an update on this Pixel Slate. Just to recap, um, I picked up the Pixel Slate. Um, I've had it for a few days. I did the Black Friday deal straight from Google. The M3 version, which was $449, where they gave you the Pixel Slate, the Google Pixel uh, Pixelbook pin, and you had a choice of your actual uh, keyboard. So I chose the bridge keyboard um, that I have here in front of you. And um, I did that because I needed something more of a, a, a laptop feel. Um, and I know that the uh, Pixel Slate keyboard was something that was highly criticized when this device first released. So I decided to go against that and just get the bridge keyboard to see how the experience would be. And I have to tell you guys, um, after just a couple of days, I really like this device. I think at the price point of 450 bucks for everything, I don't think you can really beat that with any other device, especially for what it offers. Um, so one of the things that I really do, and I'll actually just go on to things I really like about the device, this fingerprint sensor is uh, pretty incredible. Uh, let me just try to get rid of uh, some of my pop-ups here. The um, fingerprint is really responsive. It is such a quick and convenient way of logging into the device. I hope that they implement uh, the fingerprint scanner into more Chromebooks going forward. I think that's the rumor that more will release with that input, but that is an incredible uh, thing to have, which is already in a lot of uh, regular laptops like Windows laptops and whatnot, and I guess in even Mac OS um, laptops as well. So I uh, really like that feature, logs you in pretty quickly and, and seamlessly instead of just typing in a pin code every time. But some things that I really like about this device so far, the... Uh, First of all, the screen. Let's just uh, give a moment to marvel at the screen. Um, I, I'm drawing a blank as to how they refer to this screen when the device first released, but it is definitely, to me, like a 4K display. Like, it, it is absolutely beautiful. It gets pretty bright. Um, the wallpapers look fantastic on it. So I really enjoy the screen. That's probably the the best thing about this um, device is the screen. The M3, I had some people that asked, you know, does the M3 get the job done? And in my opinion, it does. I think that if they had released an M3 with the 128 gig, that would have been a really good pickup. Um, but you have to pay a little more. I believe it's like 200 bucks more to get um, the i5 with 128 gigs because the M3 only came in the 64 gig, which, um, again, I don't, I'm not a heavy user, um, so I don't need that much memory, that much space, and, and plus I use Google Drive, Google Photos, so everything gets backed up that way. But I think the sweet spot would be an M3 with 128 gig. Um, but if you get the i5, I'm sure you won't be disappointed, but this M3 is plenty uh, snappy. So it will get the job done, um, just opening up different uh, applications. Um, I love the fact that this thing runs, oh, I thought I was logged into Apple Music there, that it runs the regular Google Play Store uh, as well as just Chrome OS. I think that is a, um, a pretty good combination and a lot of people should enjoy that. The camera on here is really good as well for those that are going to do like some um, video chats and whatnot. I'm still getting used to the the functions on here. But the, the camera is really, jeez, can I get to the camera on here? Let's see, let's see, there it is. Hello, you guys see my laundry hanging in the back here in the office. I gotta find a better spot for it. But just wanted to show you guys the, the camera really quick. Um, so the camera is really nice on it. 
everything is pretty uh, quick and fluid. You can multitask and do different things with it. Um, so definitely um, not a drawback there. The battery life has been pretty good. I've only charged this thing maybe every two days. I have been trying to use it on and off, you know, watch YouTube videos and whatnot. So battery life is really strong. Um, playback, video playback, you can play back 4K video. That was one of my major concerns when watching YouTube videos. I wanted something that can play back uh, 4K video with no issues. I had no problems there. And the keyboard, the typing experience, again, I don't uh, do a lot of typing. I'm not in college or anything anymore to have to type out papers and whatnot. But just from uh, everyday use of the keyboard, it is uh, pretty pretty clicky. I would say the Pixel, um, the Pixel Book has a slightly better keyboard. And I think I enjoy that experience a little more because that, that device is a little lighter which brings me to uh, one of the things that I'm not too fond of is that the heft of the device, it is a little top heavy when using with this keyboard because you know the, the guts, the glory is all here. So the hinge is pretty strong, but as you can see, there's a little wiggle there. Um, but when you're on a flat, nice flat desk surface like I have here, you don't notice it as much, but when you put it on something soft like the bed, on your lap or something like that, you will notice that it is a little t uh, top heavy. So that is one of my, uh, I guess, petty complaints about the device. Um, yeah. And then other than that, the, the only other thing that I'm not a big fan of is this thing right here, this, uh, the Pixelbook pen. Um, it, <clears throat> I guess it's, I'm, I'm going to try it out a little more, but I am so used to using the Apple Pencil. Okay, so there's nothing like the Apple Pencil used on what I have here is the iPad uh, Pro 11 inch. And I will gladly do a comparison video for those that would be interested in this. Um, so hit me up in the comments if you want to see something like that. But I'm so used to using that, and I do a lot of note-taking for work and whatnot, and I use the Apple Pencil with this device. So trying to use the, the Pixelbook pen, um, it just it's very choppy to me. So there, that would be my uh, complaint with that. I mean, the device, it came free with this package, so I'm not going to complain too much about it. But right now, those are really my only two complaints, is that the pen input is not that great and that the device is a little top heavy. But other than that, um, I really enjoy it. Like I said, it's really snappy. The screen is absolutely beautiful. Um, the speakers are really good on it as well. Not as loud as they are on the, uh, the iPad Pro. And again, I can do a comparison if you guys want, but they are plenty loud enough. They're really uh, nice speakers for such a small laptop. Uh, so hit me up in the comments. Uh, let me know if you guys picked up the device. Let me know if there's anything you want me to test out. Um, but I, I definitely plan on uh, keeping this device. I think at that price point, you really you can't find anything else that comes close. I mean, the Pixelbook Go at six forty nine is decent. If you can get a good deal on that, maybe they'll do like a hundred bucks off or something. Maybe we can find a deal like that. Hit me up in the comments if you've seen such a thing so far. I haven't seen any. Uh, any deals on that device yet um, I, I had a chance to play with that one and Best Buy I really like the keyboard on that as well as the screen the, the 16 by 9 aspect ratio you get a lot more screen real estate for movies and whatnot but this device here at this price point I just don't know any uh, other device that can top it and again this is boy yellow with an update hit me up in the comments let me know what you guys want to see next and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace